part two of Stirred Up Live with Web Slow Daily and She Gossips. If you missed part one, head over to Kay's page, She Gossips. I say this every time. Make sure. Yeah, basically on the text. All right, bitch, I think you fucked it up, so I might have to leave and come back. Uh, send a request, and if it doesn't do it, I'm going to have to leave and come back. Because it's not letting me send you the request anymore. All right, here we go. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Yes, baby, they are. I feel like I look dark. Not that that's an issue, bitch, because I love being black as fuck. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, so there is this. I have, okay, so Miley Cyrus, aka Purdue Chicken, um, and her husband. The other white meat. Mm hmm. <laughs> and her husband, um, have. I didn't even know she got married. I don't remember her saying she got married. married. She got but she, she was. She went and got married, like, real low key. Like, she just up and just posted a hot, long, heartfelt message. She said, this is my, the love of my life. This is my rock. I don't have to be Hannah Montana with him. Like, I can just be me. Bitch, when were you Hannah Montana after you left the fucking Shut the fuck up, bitch. I be, shut up. Like, bitch, you know my fuck, I don't know who the fuck thinks, who wants you to be Hannah Montana? Bitch, you was out here sucking dildos and fucking on floaties, ho. Don't nobody want you to be Hannah Montana, bitch. What the fuck? But then she came out in an article, maybe about a month or two ago, and said that she feels like she's more into women than men, and she feels like she shouldn't have got married. Well, bitch, I had a feeling. You, I am mean, all right. So now they're breaking up. So well, focus on themselves and their career. All right. What did you think of her rock the boat dance the other day? I think that she looks like Purdue Chicken. I just, I think that she, she like. Work. I just can't. I just, I just, I don't want to. So. <laughs> Mm, I'm cool. Um, I'm buffering. Well, we're buffering on my phone. I wonder why. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, there we go. We're good now. Um, I just want to make yeah, yep. Um, so they broke up or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. I have other white. What, don't we have other white people? Oh, so Felon Bay. I'm sorry, who? Felon Bay with the light eyes. Oh, Felon Bay. Yeah, Jeremy. Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, so uh, According to was it pa Daily Mail, not page six, mm -hmm. Daily Mail, um, he and his baby mama, because they have a one year old son together or whatever. Mm -hmm. They well, she was spotted with another white man. She went back to the white man's. Mm -hmm. um, she was like, "I'm sick of these niggas." So something happened, and he. I feel like he probably cheated, but um, she was spotted with another white man, and he looked yummy. Mm -hmm. uh, they were cuddled up on the boat, just like that Miley shit. Um, and oh yeah, my ain't Miley dating um, Brody's ex, bitch. Brody, I already told y'all motherfuckers that Brody was not gonna be married for much longer. And here we go. And his wife was spotted with Kylie, Kylie, Miley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so yeah. Anyway, so Chloe Green, who is the Harris of Top Shop. Um, was spotted with another white man and they were like canoeing on a boat, um, cold up and everything. And he, they, from what Daily Mail said, she hasn't been wearing her ring for two months. Uh -huh. Yet they are not confirming that they've broken up. So, I mean, we don't really know. Um, but I mean, if they're not broken up, she cheating on you, nigga. <laughs> Because um, she was all up that shit. She let that man all up in between her, honey. And that was on the boat. That was outside the boat. Just think what that happens when they go inside the boat, bitch. That nigga oh. ramming that fucking vagina. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, 
I think that oh, so um, according to Daily Mail, also she sold a lot. Of their, they have a lot of properties together, so mm-hmm. she well, really, they were hers. From what I'm understanding, mm-hmm. he was just staying there with her. He didn't really own shit because uh-huh. she sold um, the properties because she told her friends it was too many memories. So that makes me think that he cheated on her. Um, and we're talking. We think that he fumbled the bag, but he might have just. Up to the ante, my nigga. Like he might have just <laughs> fuck with a bitch who got more money than a Harris. He may be fucking with a princess. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You know that Dubai circuit is very popular. So, I mean, but um, what else? I think that was it for white people news. But um, back to black people news. So um, pasta. I think. I think that's- I don't know. Why didn't I buy them? Is she a pastor? I think no? she is. Well, why didn't I buy She's like a singer, right? She's For sure. Singer. Okay. Or a minister. Let's call her a minister. 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 Okay. Evangelist. Why didn't I buy them? Yeah. Something, right? Um, She was booked to go... Long story short, she was booked for a church event where she was going to get $3,000... Okay. All of her accommodations taken care of, um, and half because it was it was a church, you know, celebration, and half of the night's offering. Really, I think seventy five percent of of the night's offering to go mm-hmm. to this, you know, event or to mm-hmm. perform. She mm-hmm. decided not to go on because um, I guess the pastor, his name is Pastor. More, Pastor mm-hmm. Moore went into because I guess you know he booked the hotel, so he wanted to like put something in her hotel so she could have like a care get you know a care package. She wasn't in the room, mm-hmm. um, but she wanted to put like a care package in her room. Um, but he didn't know that her assistant had flown in or something like that, and basically her assistant had like laid out her dress, laid out her underwear, stuff like that. Like her luggage was already there, so why didn't Bynum's luggage was already there? Mm-hmm. However, like you know, sh- because they're saying that he's seen her panties, even though she wasn't in the room, like she wasn't there yet. Um, she felt like it was uncomfortable for her. My- it was uncomfortable for her to go on because he seen her underwear that was laid out. You know what I would have did, bitch? Hmm. I would have just switched my underwear, bitch. Yeah. I'm getting three thousand dollars and half a nice offering. Like this is a celebration, bitch. You know how much yeah. you know how much money people give? Not saying that I mean, we get it. I mean, the church is really like hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> <laughs> so, but I would have, um, she felt, she said she felt uncomfortable because you see her panties. She was not in the room. You know what I'm saying? I think like, he was probably with some shit. Like, he tried them bitches on or something, or was like smelling them. Girl, no. Yeah, she like, just let that, mm. no, she had her hotel taken care of or some shit, and, um, it was gonna get paid that money, like seventy five percent of the actual offering, and she, because he went into the room and seen her clothes out, but he's saying that he didn't see anything. Like he has a whole YouTube and everything, y'all. Um, yeah, she was crying. She fumbled with the bag. Fumbled the bag. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she really did. If he was getting all of that, all because he saw your underwear, and it's not like he saw you in your underwear. He didn't walk in on you in the shower or anything like that. I mean. And he's saying he didn't even see anything, so I don't understand. You weren't even there. I don't get it, girl. Maybe they was like granny panties or something, and like she was embarrassed because they was like the big blooming draws. Change them. Don't wear the ones that she put out. Wear some other ones. Somebody said Where's the ones you got on, bitch? Had one pair. <laughs> I ain't doing this with you, bitch. Walmart. Uh, Walmart's down the street. You have an assistant down the street. Um... What's it called? Um, yeah, so let's talk about Centoya Brown. Yeah, so she's free. Mm-hmm. She, she mixed with, with mixed emotions, though, from a lot of black people. Really? She, Why? She posted about it. A lot of black people were under my post, and they were saying, like, she shouldn't have gotten out because the story that we were told is not what was proven. And they're like, what was you know, the- 
What happened? So it's some of the story was saying that oh, the guy that she killed was somebody who was her sex trafficker, which that wasn't true. But then other people were saying like oh. She actually just murdered him. He actually wasn't trying to assault her like she tried to say. So it's it's multiple versions of the story, but a lot of people were saying that she didn't deserve to get out. She did the crime, and she deserved to do the time. And basically, she only got out because of the celebrity notoriety of it. And mm. it, was, it was more so of the wrong story that mm. got people's notoriety. You know, people make those memes, and I can, I can basically create a story and say whatever the most heartfelt, whatever. And if it goes viral, people are going to believe that it's true because it went viral. Correct. And that's, and that's basically what they're saying. Like, she got yeah. out basically on a technicality. So... Technicality. Which yeah. is football. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so she ends up marrying um, the Christian rapper that used to date um, Pam from he was, Total. He was, married, he, to he was married to him. Yeah. This is my thing. And I feel it in my strong and I don't mm -hmm. know why. Mm -hmm. She won't be out for too much longer. I feel like she gonna kill this nigga. If, 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 if Pam is, is right about what she said about her husband or, or her ex-husband, if Pam from Total, because so Centoya Brown is dating or is married, now She's married, married to, yeah. um, what's his name? J Christian Jane? What's his name? Uh, Christian, what the fuck is it? Per, Christian Long. Long, yeah. So she is, she's married to Christian Long, and if, and Pam is saying, from Total is saying, that nigga, he is, um, evil, he's crazy, he's this, he's that. There's only a certain amount of time until Centoya's about to be like, bitch, I'm about to white man you. Mm, but it's not what, so it says... <laughs> Pam said, this man is diabolical and he is such a manipulator. The way this man pursued this woman is the way that he did me. So basically, I guess he reached out to Centoya while she was locked up. Mm -hmm. He came and So wait, me. Pam? Wait, Pam? Pam was locked up too? What happened? What? No, 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 no. So she says, he came and found me using the, using the same card that he was a Christian artist. May the Lord God protect her and her money. It's about who she is in the public eye and what she has. By her having this face in the media, it helps him to have a chance to be around what he deems as the elite. So basically, because she was signed to Bad Boy, he was thinking that that was going to be his ticket, is what she's saying. Oh, so this nigga trying to, like, live off of women's and women's and women's. I guess so. You know... Again, so we'll see how long he gonna be alive. <laughs> Centoya don't play, obviously. We'll see. <laughs> I don't feel the cats are You kill once, you'll kill again. You'll cheat once, you'll cheat again. Until you're tired. Um, and I feel like, you know, she's been in jail so long. You get accustomed to being in jail. You don't know how to live in the real world. So. Definitely, yeah. You know, she's like 32 or something, so she's still young. Yeah. Um, she has the rest of her life to live, but if this nigga does her dirty, you're a goner, my nigga. And I think, I hope that you would know that. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. See, I would just <laughs> hope that she would be, oh, I hate to say shit like this. But I would, if, you, if you're gonna do it, like, you at least gotta try to get away with it, right? Like, why would you wanna, after you just spent 15 years, why would you, why would you wanna go? You know, I mean, she's gonna need Annalise Keaton on her fucking case I mean, because and, my nigga, um, Olivia Post daddy, you know, and mama. <laughs> to, I don't know, but <laughs> she, she, she was vulnerable. You know, she's locked up. But my thing is like, he so this yeah, so he, like, he just came across it, like, out of nowhere, like, oh, you are, yeah. girl, and when you get out, I'm about to marry you for what? So what money does she have? Who gave her money? Well, I mean, you know, she's about to, like, really start getting money. She's got a documentary that's about to come out. She has a documentary? Yeah, I know this. Now, but, yeah, somebody is, like, going to be in the works. There. Yeah. So oh. she's probably about to just start doing public appearances and speaking and probably going to go on a tour, maybe start talking to kids that's in high school, like, the, the normal shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if she's about to start getting paid. This nigga about to be living that life. And 
People about to start name dropping her in uh fucking songs. <laughs> She's probably about to write a book. It's probably gonna be a lifetime movie on and on the way or B T T V one, one of these motherfuckers. So <laughs> Like, all of this shit is, is about to happen. Like, yeah. her, her story got so big. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah. I'm just like... She's probably going to end up, like, with a show on, like, TV One or, like, the Investigation Discovery Channel. Like, about women who were wrongly accused that were in sex trafficking and all of that stuff. Like, I just... Yeah. Hey, y'all call me. Why are you some ideas? <laughs> Girl, you better reach out to him, honey. <laughs> like, for real, for real, y'all. Um, wait, how long have they been married? Oh, um, you know, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. All, all of this time I've been saying that she got married in jail. I don't know that anybody said. Because she just got divorced. Uh, Pam just got divorced from him in 2013. So, so. Th- I wonder if they signed a prenup. Like, she, they probably didn't, though. She didn't think about the- nothing yet, for real. He don't poison that nigga. <laughs> this, this is not funny, but this is what you get, nigga. I would never, if I knew somebody went in for a violent crime, I'm not fucking with you. I don't care how much I like. I'm not murder. fucking with you. I have to sleep with AK every night. <laughs> murder? Murder? Who? <laughs> murder? Who said that? Like, you know, mm-hmm. that nigga went with the high life so much he gonna risk his life. Okay, nigga. He was trying to get her pregnant, pregnant too. To Kanye into signing him into a deal. He don't have to give a That's a good idea. That's a good idea. But if you don't make, my thing is Kanye can't even, Kanye is literally a music slave. Like, he literally. He's performing at the Sunday service. I mean, and I'm sure if he pays him, he will. That nigga probably would suck some dick for a goddamn check, honestly. Niggas who marry women just for money will do anything. They like crackheads that suck your dick for a dollar. Like, so... <laughs> a dollar. And a nine cent. <laughs> you done made my ear. You done made my ear. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what's it called? Let's talk about, why we talk about fuck, let's, why we talk about fuck niggas? Let's talk about fuck women. Mm-hmm. Fuck ass women. See, Marley Simmons. Girl. Let me tell you something, bitch. I like you. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Mm-hmm. Not even like this much? No. Mm-mm. much? Mm-mm. Nothing. Nothing, bitch. I don't like you. You know why, bitch? Because you're foul. I think, honestly, she's like a black widow to me. So, be better, sweetie. We're not going to talk about Monies in April. We don't care enough about them. No, you know what? We will. It'll be at we the end. We talk about Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, yeah. We'll talk about them at the end. I still don't give a fuck about them, but we'll talk. Um, <laughs> stop asking. Thanks. Um, why don't I like him more? Because she was on the Kardashian side trying, basically telling them to bully Jordan. Jordan. That's yeah. bullshit. Um, but I feel like Kimora is like a black widow. Like she she gets with a man and she uses him up and then she throws him away and then she mm. breeds with other niggas. You know what I'm saying? And I she honestly really I don't know and this, this is probably like ignorance to me, but I will be ignorant right now. She okay, so tell the story. You have the you have the information? So basically uh, what's his name? Da- Daimon? Jaimon? Daddy. Okay. Cause, cause, Black you know, ass I, I, I always remember him from fucking Amistad. So I remember him from Evertang, my pussy. No, I'm joking. <laughs> so he's filing for joint custody, and he's basically threatening to take their son and move him to Africa. Because he says that Kamara is not allowing him the right to see his son. And he's like, I haven't seen him and I don't know how long. And you got him around Russell and the white guy you had the kid, uh, the, the other kid with. And it's like, why are you not allowing me to see my son? So he's correct he's off at this point. And as he should be, because my thing is, as a black man, he's trying, his 
I already, I think it was like a, somebody said something about like his son was feeling some type of way because his son is dark skinned and the rest of his family is like light skinned or white. You know what I'm saying? There was like this story out there of that. I'm not sure how liable it is, but, um, or how verified or. I don't know the word. <laughs> uh, I how true it is. <laughs> All that. All that. No, Leona, bitch. Shut the fuck up, Leona. For real. No, she's right, though. I used to have all the baby fat, bitch, because I worked at Macy's. Baby fat used to be the shit, though. It used to be the shit. I used to have all the shit, shit, bitch. But shut up, Leona, bitch. I can still not like you more right now, ho. Because for anybody to, to feel like it's okay, like, just like, you know, we're going back to Cardi B. Cardi B basically made all of her fans go and harass this this host that basically took up for her. Like, she basically was just telling, you know, talking about the unverifiable news. You know what I'm saying? But it's what everybody else is talking about. So why are you attacking her when the actuality of she listened to the whole clip? She would have heard the girl take up for her. But she had her minions attack this girl. For yeah. Kimora Lee Simmons to be to make it okay for them to, to basically attack Jordy uh-huh. is disrespectful, bitch. And and I don't know how much black you are, but bitch, you don't look it. Is your daddy light skinned, bitch? Is he like a quarter hoe? Because I don't like let me tell you something. So she put on her story, maybe she deleted it. I don't fucking know because I didn't go. Uh-huh. I saw I have to stop following her. She put uh Something like niggas is something. All I see was the word nigga. And I Wait, said, bitch. <laughs> hold on, let me go. Let me I'm gonna go get it. You just wait a motherfucking minute. Um Can I get a refill? This girl, hold on. She said, Oh, oh, here it is. Niggas is bitches now, huh? I don't like you using that that N word, bitch. I don't like it. At all. I don't like it. I feel offended because you're not. I don't believe. I, I don't. I don't. I don't give a fuck if you're a quarter black bitch. You don't look it. Can't uh-huh. use it. I don't like you, bitch. <laughs> I don't. I don't like you. Her daddy is real black. Her, Her daddy, daddy is real black. Mean whisper in your ear. Hey, little mama, baby, what's in your ear? I don't like it. Niggas is bitches She's now. And waist deep. Oh, I forgot she was in that movie. Who? Uh, Kimora. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. She was a the booster. Oh yeah. She yeah. can play a little scandalous ass bitch, can't you, bitch? She said, "Girl, you're like eighty-five percent black and saying there." I mean, or less than that. I just, I don't like it. I don't so I just I don't like it. it it makes me feel like it's a threat like when she says it it's a threat I don't like so it it makes me feel uncomfortable a lot of people say that like if, you're, if your father is black because you came mm-hmm. from their neck back then you're black why is it so as I, I can say that that's, that's true because my father my mother is light skinned mm-hmm. I'm my father's child my daddy is black as fuck Mm-hmm. So I'm my father's kid, um, and literally, like all my family is light skin. We'll get mm-hmm. there, but they real, they yellow as fuck, and I'm the only dark skin one out of all of them. You know what I'm saying? And um, so I would get that, but but you don't look it. So what is your daddy for real? Is that really your daddy, or is that just somebody who your mom was fucking with when she got with it? When she when she had you, if you look Asian, bitch. Some some ain't right because if you black, bitch, you look it. <laughs> And that's a period. Because black, like Asian, and when you're black and Asian, like you, you can actually see like you're black and Asian. Mm-hmm. Bitch, you don't, you don't look, you don't look, you don't look black, bitch. You look Asian. You look like you suck black dick. Oh, you're right. It, but you don't look like you black, bitch. So, um, and that's probably why, you know, people. This is probably like the white, the, the white girl, the light skinned girls be like, oh, you know. We feel discriminated against because we're light skinned. My dad is black. I don't, biologically, I don't want a blood test. 
<laughs> maybe your mama was fucking with your black father. And he is your dad, but biologically, bitch, I don't know if he is. Oh, bitch, you gotta, you gotta, since it's bringing refills home. Oh, <laughs> bitch, you wait, wait, wait till I get my money right. This bitch got, this bitch is, this bitch got people bringing her drink show. <laughs> Yeah. Yo. Um. No, Cardi's parents are deemed as white. If you look at like her father's um jail record, he he's deemed as a white man. He's not even Hispanic. Oh. Anyways, okay. you know what I'm saying? So I don't. Cause at least look, perfect situation, right? That strawberry look bomb as fuck, do. I'm jealous as fuck, but that's fine. Um. You don't tell get that mic turn from y'all on. Uh uh, bitch. I was eating. Uh uh. You gotta eat a strawberry. I was eating a pinto, bitch. <laughs> um, just like Travis Scott is not, you know, Baby Stormy's real father. Tiger is. She's had. She's like a quarter Asian. Little kitten is so cute. Little kitten. You know what I'm saying? Like, but but when she had the baby, she was fucking with Travis. <laughs> Therefore, Travis is her daddy. You know what I'm saying? I don't trust you, Kimora, bitch. Because if you... I don't trust you, bitch. You. Bitch, I don't trust you. Not <laughs> you, but you. You. Yeah. Bitch, I don't, you. I don't trust you, bitch. You, bitch. Um, but, um, long story short... Um, history. Kay is Jamaican. I am Jamaican. My father... Like, can I tell you, I was so upset. Because I was like, wait. I was talking to Q, and I was like, wait, restoration. Wait, wait. And I was like, my family. And I was like, my my family, because they were so, they could pass as white. Uh -huh. They were not discriminated against. They weren't disrespected. They were pa white passing. They didn't, act, they weren't white, but they were, if they wanted to be, they could have been. Like, they beautiful yeah. hair, super pale. So they didn't go through what I would have gone through. And my mm -hmm. father was in London. Like, my, my family, my, my grandfather's a Mason. Like, he's well respected. You know what I'm saying? So, like, my heritage is not as hard as i thought it was mm. and it kind of makes me sad because i'm like bitch mm. fuck y'all <laughs> but yeah, i can't I even really be like that i want to do a lineage trace but i refuse to use like ancestry y'all about y'all not about to get they my gonna, name on file and there's no yep, i don't even they gonna find something recognition on my nope <laughs> they gonna find something they gonna they gonna find something in your genetics to kill a mass of people that's how i feel about 20 me 23 and me i don't trust them they got that's your dna bitch uh -uh. <laughs> uh -uh. but no again um come on leave it i don't like you um what am i saying now no so yeah jaiman his name is jaiman right jaiman jaiman Jaimon, he's like, trying to um, get not only full custody, but he wants to get child support too. Yeah, um, yes, yes. Trying to get child support too. Um, he, he said, "Oh, this bitch didn't uh, relaunch Baby Fat in all uh, twenty forever twenty one stores." Well, oh. Honey, but she got a shirt and some leggings. They even like they like biker shorts. I said, "Bitch, you fucking disrespectful, Wait. and you ain't got no plus size, bitch. It's really fucking go." And I heard it still sells good at City Trends because Pretty V is like one of their brand ambassadors for like both of that shit. So <laughs> he said somebody gonna cut. <laughs> no, for real, City Trends. Yo, I heard it, bitch. Go ahead. Yeah, but he said he wants that check. By any means, he was like, "I'll make a movie every now and again." But um, no, seriously, he's he's getting he's gonna get a, a cute coin, and oh, for her yeah. to even take her the kid away from him, it's kind of like my thing is you have to give give him reason of why he can't see his kid. Because I heard the white man who she married to the nigga who's a scammer is kissing his kid all in the motherfucking mouth. Mm -hmm. That's not her, mm -hmm. bitch. I don't like you, Kimora. <laughs> that shit's that shit's nasty, bitch. That's not his fucking daddy. Mm. That's not his fucking daddy. Why is he kissing him in the mouth? Yeah, no, definitely not. That's not her though. But bitch, you got yeah. you got a motherfucker friend coming, bitch. Anyway, definitely don't do that. We don't do that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, so then they uh, with um, like Mel B and um 
Yo, and that this is weird. Yes. I think it's like they have one kid together, but then Eddie Murphy's kid, he's really close to Eddie Murphy's kid. Yeah, and that's the that's the kid that he was trying to like kiss him out. Yeah, and that's the kid that he was trying to kiss him out. Yeah. Like that's nasty. Yeah. Bitch, you got another thing coming, bitch. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so who else? Oh, let's talk about Cuba. So Cuba's uh, lawyer is starting a hashtag not me movement. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, y'all better. Y'all better. Come on. Because the judge refuses to dismiss the motion. Like, even though that video came out showing him not touching her and all that, the judge is like, no. Because he's a black man. Yep. Well, I don't feel bad for Cuba because when you fuck with white people, that's what you get. There we go. Anyway, John Singleton. <laughs> which, leave him alone. Let me stop because I told, I told everybody my baby dad's going to be white. Because these niggas is not trying to marry nobody. Like, these niggas is not trying to get married, bitch. And I am 30. I need I, my eggs is ready, bitch, for fertilizing hope. Mm-hmm. And y'all niggas ain't shit. You bitch ain't shit. Um. <laughs> so John Singleton's mom basically accuses his girlfriend of not doing enough to save his life. She said that nobody called nine one one when. Yeah. So I'm like, are you trying to say like she was trying to get him like like trying to leave him fucked up or? So, this is my question. If that's the case, what does she get out of it? You know what I'm saying? That's what I was thinking, because obviously she wasn't left on the wheel, because the wheel was not stated. Correct. So, I, I don't know. So, did she have, like, my thing is, like, because she, if she was getting money from this nigga, she could have kept getting money, regardless if he was alive or not, because he was giving it to her. So, mm-hmm. what is the, what's her, her, what is it? I think that the word. The money. Mm. Yeah, what's the motive? Yeah, what's the motive? He, he, to her, he would be worth more alive if, if he wasn't on the wheel. At least just to her, she got him to change the wheel. You know Correct. what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know. But this is also the same mom who's battling with the granddaughter because she wants mm. to control the money. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, the mom, the mom is greedy. Oh, I mean, mom is greedy. Yeah, she, she wants to control everything. She doesn't want the daughter to have anything to do with the estate and, you know, how the money is distributed, none of that. Wait, the estate, is it, it was left to his daughter, though, right? Um, I think it was left to the daughter, but the mom is, like, basically, because she's his mom, you know, black women, you feel like, I'm his mother. Don't be like black women, because white bitches do the same thing with your black ass. They do, but a lot of black women feel like we trump everything else because we're the mom. Yeah, I mean, no, I do. If you come out of my vagina, bitch, you belong to me. Like, what, girl? So, listen, <laughs> so, so, like, we're teaching the kids about, like, credit, stocks, and all of that stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So, my son was like, yeah, so I need good credit, so I can do this and do that. And I was like, yeah, so you can buy mom two cars. And he was like, isn't that a little excessive? I was like, do you remember how long I was in labor with you? <laughs> <laughs> like, what you talking about, a little excessive? How just... You- how the fuck you know that goddamn word, bitch? I am your everything, bitch. See, that's why I can't... When I become a mom, I'm going to record this shit because I am going to be so obsessed. What you mean? How you learn that word? What you, what you know about that? Nah, hell nah. Girl. Okay. But yeah, so... So yeah, so now she's blaming the girlfriend, basically, for everything that happened because she's like, you didn't do enough to save his life. But why would she not call 911? Did she think it was normal? Somebody did, right? Yeah, but like, what happened? Like, was it something that, you know, maybe he, something happens and then he tells people don't call 911 because I'm fine. And then it turns out this one time he wasn't fine. You know what I'm saying? And see, with shit like that, you do have people who try to downplay their symptoms and stuff they're going through and they feel like, oh, I don't want to go, da, da, da. But depending on what happened like, i really don't know what happened as far as what led up to that i mean yeah. me if i see that you really fucked up i'm calling i don't give a fuck what you say correct you know what correct. i'm saying i'm either gonna call you or call them or i'm taking your ass in correct correct but you know and then i'm also thinking like is the mom trying to find a way to just like keep some shit like going in the in the, in the news you know what I mean? why wouldn't she why wouldn't she like nobody has 
talked about you, heard about you. <laughs> and before that, I can't even know this mom was still alive, girl. Okay. What you Thank you. <laughs> you could have been a doctor. He could have been a fucking um, kid. That, that nigga old. Oh, how old was you when you had him? Six, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Old as fuck. Let me stop. <laughs> like we, he's old. Like we did not know that his mother was still alive. We didn't know. Yeah. Mm. I hear he wasn't even talking to his mother for years before he died. Oh, so that's really honey. That's true. Wow. Okay. I mean, it's probably because she was greedy as fuck, bitch. Anyways. Yeah. Um. Let's talk about Wale. So Wale says. He really feels that uh, record deals should come with automatic, like, either counseling or insurance for mental health awareness. Correct. I and think I so, totally too. I totally agree with that. Yeah, I agree, too. A lot of these guys, women, they don't know what they're getting themselves into as far yeah. as entering this business. And some of them, Correct. like, it seems like while they already had some type of something going on before he got signed. You know what I'm saying? So it was magnified when he got signed. And then, you know, everything being in the public eye and being ridiculed by everything that you say. And that's one thing that has, that, that's bad. That I feel it's bad when you become famous. Everything gets broken down to the lowest common denominator. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, yeah. They can't just say shit like we, wanna, like we can say shit. Correct. Everything but my is, thing is like, look, they can, girl, cause people can say whatever the fuck they want. But you ain't got to put everything on Instagram. Uh, on social media, you don't have to. Like, when, when, I, there's when are you some Instagram? conversations. I mean, no, seriously. There's some conversations that I'd be like, yo, I want to post this on social media so fucking bad. But I know it's going to be, it's going to, it's going to invade my privacy. And I kind of don't want y'all in my shit. So I'm not going to say it. I'm going to have the conversation amongst my fucking friends. Mm -hmm. Not saying y'all not my fucking friends because I love y'all. But mm -hmm. bitch, it's, it goes a different. It's different. Um, but no, I agree. We, they do need, they, they do, need, but are they going to, so I, this is what I heard. Who was it? Um, somebody, somebody said it basically in the industry, they make it seem like, excuse me. Sorry, I thought food. <laughs> <laughs> they said, they said, it, they make it seem like, you know, you're the one that's crazy. So they can basically take over. Everything uh -huh. that they like, everything about you, you uh -huh. know, they make it seem like you're the one that cycle. You're the one that you know can't really think without them, and so they uh -huh. can take over everything. Um, I think T Pain said it actually. T Pain uh -huh. said that they make it seem like you're crazy, so they could take over like your money, your investments, yeah. all that shit. Um, and yeah, so they're probably not going to come with it. Um, but yeah. I, what I do know is that the contracts are going to come because Cardi is out here making all this money doing just festivals and fairs and shit um so she i mean we don't know how authentic um what she posted um mm -hmm. about how much she gets paid per whatever yeah. um because but it looked like she was making a lot of fucking money um and i was told that when she makes all that money from the fairs or from the festivals or whatever that the the actual record label doesn't get that shit like they don't even get a percentage like the, the money comes directly to her and she distributes it how she wants to oh. that's what i was told i don't know if it's correct but i mean that's the reason why i mean if i was her i would go i would i wouldn't go on the world tour because the world tour that means I have to abide by this contract. Yeah. But, that, but, but because of that, I know that for now and on, anybody who gets signed, anytime you perform any fucking wear, right. the label will get paid. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because I heard that Mariah did the same shit. They want. Yeah. They want their fucking money. And, and then I think that that's the reason why that Cardi is um, arguing with her manager too, because, or her ex manager, because. Yeah. He made her sign this fuck ass contract, which was trash. It was it was it was trash. So I get why she mad, but it's kind of like she signed it without no lawyer. That wasn't smart. But um, I'm gonna give y'all some tea. Well, I'm gonna give y'all a business tip. When mm -hmm. you are signing a contract, mm -hmm. literally go through the contract. Any number that you see, highlight it. Then go back and read everything in between. You know what I'm saying? That's what you have to do. Whenever you're signing anything, it doesn't fucking matter. 
right. highlight all you the fucking numbers because all the numbers because the numbers because they, they they're, they'll put like your bonus on the front page the fuck is that yeah the bonus could come with all these stipulations that you have no idea about because yep. you just signed that shit away read the like get the contract highlight all the fucking numbers throughout the whole fucking document then go back and read between take your time ask questions don't have don't let them rush you like that's what's mandatory okay um so you have the information on mario lopez i do so basically he made a statement that when uh people parents that allowed them their children to transition while they're like kids or identify as transgender that they're doing the wrong thing that they should basically let these kids be kids when they become of age if they choose to then that's an entirely different story he received a lot of backlash for that we did can you play the the actual audio yeah i gave you the the point mark and Jay Boogie and Leona, bitch, you want to talk about somebody who can't they read, though? <laughs> Leona, look at me, cousin. Do you want to talk about somebody who can't read, bitch? Hmm? Let's be very clear about something, bitch. I had a whole bunch of drink, but shut the fuck up, bitch. Ooh, no, right goddamn now. Yeah. This, this bitch, let me tell you, we was in um, Miami, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she flew me out, right? Mm-hmm. We was in Miami, and this girl was trying to read maybe how she should do something. Hey, wait. Um, let me calm down, because I almost cut my cousin out. She talking about <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I was like, bitch, you gotta calm down, cuz, on bloods, cuz. Don't, don't, do, don't do Leona like that. Don't do that. No, y'all already fuck that. Y'all already know. You know, y'all be no, y'all know how my cousin be fucking trolling me on here. She be fucking trolling me. So don't do that. Don't act like don't put crazy. I'm not fucking crazy. I, she said she gonna slap me. Oh, you gonna slap me? I was high off perks, bitch. Really? <laughs> um, okay, hold on. YouTube is like acting stupid, so it's still trying to load. Okay, we're waiting. But my cousin said she gonna slap me, blood. <laughs> um, do you uh, do you agree with what he said? Yes, wholeheartedly. Okay. Yeah, the thing is, what he said was taken out of context. You know what I'm saying? What he said was like any rational person who has a, who is a parent would say you cannot let a three-year-old decide what the fuck they are and they want to be a fucking power ranger you don't let them be a fucking they want them to live their life as a power ranger bitch no that's not they're three uh-huh. no that's not, no when you're older because i mean there are some i i do know that there are some children who at 18 months feel like I'm a boy. I'm not a girl. I'm a boy. At 18 months? That's it, yeah. At 18 months, they're like, I'm not a boy. I'm a girl. I mean, or I'm not a girl. I'm a boy. Either or. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they feel that. And it's kind of like, okay. And if they feel like that as they get older and it doesn't change, then you take it into consideration. But, you know, kids go through phases. So you have to, like, let them go through phases. You don't let them be fucking sheriffs their whole fucking life. Or Power Rangers. Or there's niggas who want to be dinosaurs. That doesn't exist. You know what I'm saying? I just can't. But go ahead. Okay, here we go. Mario Lopez, welcome to the Kenneth Owen Show. Thank you. Oh, starting like at 12.38, I, s- I sent you the point, Mark. This is like, okay, hold on, girl. It, I don't even know if you're conservative, but I think that you do right right a lot of conservative Fine. traditions. There we go. You on Instagram. Oh, what's wrong with this funny family 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 family
um, that I'm right. with them. You said it's 12 minutes? I'm with them. So it's like, it's on the email. Children, which I love. Um, and that, that actually kind of seems to be the countercurrent in how protect my kid. some dinosaurs in the water. I, I believe that there are dinosaurs in the water, too. <laughs> but I'm saying, you can't be something that you've never seen. It doesn't make any sense. For about five years of my life. And the thing is that come out of children's mentality where they just think... You see the email part? You're saying you're feeling a certain way, you're, 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 you think you're a boy or a girl, whatever the case may be. I, 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 I just think it's dangerous as a parent to make that determination then, okay, well, then you're going to be a boy or a girl, whatever the case may be. And it's, it's sort of alarming. And my gosh, I just think about the repercussions later on. And, and uh, to me, I just see depression because I, when I was uh, in fifth grade, I don't know, it was this weird thing in fifth grade where me and my girlfriend, Molly, like we just, we were tomboys. We were like, like, we're tomboys. We were like baggy your pants, the cargo pants were in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I tried to make my voice a little bit deeper. Terrible. Went to school and everything Terrible. Was fine. It was just a thing. She was like the mask. And I had gone through puberty yet. Like, you can't make a decision about sexuality when you're three years old. I was in fifth grade. This is a Jim Carrey. You're a kid. As a mask. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to talk about Nikki and Meg, honey. So, I don't think they, they, they're, you don't know anything about sexuality yet. You're, you're just a kid. Right. And right. then making that determination so young, right. I just see, like, if my parents, when I... Like, I'm going to be a boy today, shaved my head, mm. and we're like, that's, you made the decision. No, I right. can't even imagine how depressed <laughs> I'd be once I went through puberty. Once I went through what kind of blouse is that? And then having made up my mind when I was in fifth grade, and I think that's really I wish really I could see this little rat trail, trail at the back of her head. Right now. It's a rat trail? It looked it like, like, like it, like a little rat trail. Is she, <laughs> is she like, I'm so is tolerant her? and I'm so Wait. accepting that whatever my kid wants to do, they can do. No. I think as parents need to allow their kids to be kids, but at the same time, you got to be the adult in the right. situation. Pause with that. And I think the formative yeah, years when you start having those discussions and really start making these declarations. And, um, it's, it's way too young for some of these other, I, I just personally think it's just way too young. Yeah, to we're not like a I agree. three years old. At least I certainly wasn't. And then another thing, and it's not just with the children. Is that dandruff on his shirt? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I love Zoe Saldana. I, I've been such a fan of her for a very long time. And she gave an interview where she said that in her household, they just switch roles. So I don't think she knew she was being taped because that fucking hair, bitch, you, you know better, bitch. Like, oh, look at that, the back of that head. Bitch, you can't, where's the jail? Somebody give her some black jail, please. This is how white girls who, who date, black girls who date white men look like that. Oh, these are eyebrows. This is semi done. They wanted to teach their children um, that roles could just be reversed. What the fuck is well, they seem Where's the jail? Boys wrestling, got boys wrestling, I think that's okay. And I almost think that that's confusing. I just, I just think children are being confused. And well, it's just, like I said, I, because I know other parents who have certain parenting styles that I necessarily. Are right, we done? We, we cool. We got it. But I don't want to say I'm not gonna hit no more. <laughs> Go away, Danny. <laughs> no, that was terrible. But you know, like, it was like. It was like I didn't realize. <laughs> no, like, why? I know you knew you were being recorded. You knew that. Yes. Like, who was who's known? You know what I'm saying? Like, fucking Mario Lopez. Like, it wasn't like you was with a nobody and you could just come in. First of all, she got that boss from the Goodwill. And. <laughs> not the Like, it was literally like her grandmother, great grandmother. <laughs> Donated it and she went and got it back. And she was I'm so like, sick of you, bitch. I'm so sick of you. Why? This <laughs> she, because you're, she's saying this to you guys and she's so serious. She's like, you know, her grandmother went and she got it from there. Like, I'm saying, like, I don't even think <laughs> where the Evans would have wore that shit. Like, but see, again, she's the type of girl who dates white men. She's a black girl who they the black women who date white men and and don't believe in like color. Yeah, 
looked like her. Candace is very ignorant. Like, she talks really fast. She talks extremely fast, and she thinks that talking fast and over-talking and this, this, and that would stop people from making valid points. And it's just like, you still don't want to go against um, Angela Rye. And I'm, please, please. We want it to happen. We do want it. For sure. But I I, I, I tell you, Mario Lopez got a lot of backlash for his comment.